All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, IDEonomics Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So I didn't get a chance to do a video on this one on the 31st. It fell down to lows here of about, I'd say, 193. Some important numbers to keep in mind. I did talk about in the previous videos as long as this holds up pretty well above two dollars there won't be too much of a hiccup it did break through two dollars but very short amount of time i mean within the few time frames that this was below two dollars it was for a few hours of the day probably a total amount between the last two days of maybe six to eight hours but it's fought through falling any lower and bringing itself back up so we have some important numbers to look at here we're going to zoom on in on what's important here moving forward I'm gonna get this very narrow here and we're gonna talk about it a little bit broader now we did see the reversal coming here it hit highs of about 280 probably one of the most important points right now for this stock in the bullish trajectory upwards but it's come back down to two dollars as long as it stays above two dollars and it consolidates there it's a good sign for the bulls so hold on tight and see where this is going because if it doesn't go any lower that means that they're fighting through and that they're holding up the price and then there could be a point where it takes off right after a consolidation there will be a run up but we need to watch it closely because it hit newer lows so that new low there of 193 on the 31st is pretty low and then the most recent one was here at 191 we want to keep that in mind because now two dollars has been broken through it's holding itself back up above it again but if it goes back down in that direction 190 is just as important and we've talked about it in previous videos 192 and we hit one step below that so i would round it down to 190 how important it is to watch this and see if it breaks through these points so let's see here our support and our 50 day moving average and obviously our resistance so 201 is the number that i've talked about throughout this whole entire chart that if it broke through the two dollar mark it would land on 201 the support level i would look at but i would round it down to two dollars if it got broken through that we would be in bearish territory and hit newer lows and this is literally right now our 50 day moving average if that gets crossed we will hit newer lows now our support is literally on the same number now it's off by maybe a hundreds or thousands place but they're within the same point right 201 so if the bears accomplish this they got two birds one stone right they went ahead broke through the 50-day moving average got back into bearish territory and broke through the first support in bearish territory if that gets broken through your next point of reference is down here at 195 to see how this stock is reacting how quickly is it moving to newer lows or are the bulls trying to reappear very important to keep that in mind are the bulls trying to reappear here or are the bears tearing this one down fairly fast hitting newer lows and getting deeper into bearish territory i want every single investor to be aware of this and pay close attention to this now if it breaks through support it does not signify that the bulls have lost control because you could see there's been a tug of war going on recently but the bulls just crossed the 50-day moving average and brought themselves back up to these highs here and they're holding themselves up above two dollars so i want every single investor to keep that in mind now we're here at 207 and if the bulls continue the momentum which they need to and i want to emphasize this they need to continue this momentum. Their first resistance level to break through is 208, literally one cent away. If they accomplish this, their next resistance level, which is the most important one, it's the highest point reached in the day, that's 214. They need a breakthrough 214, reach newer highs by turning that into a support and pull further away from the 50 day moving average. But I want every single investor to be aware that the bulls do need to break through 208 and turn that into a support they have to so that they can continue the momentum 
work their way up further away from the 50-day moving average and reach newer highs and new resistance levels. As always, if you found these cues and information informative and helpful, please do so and subscribe if you're a first-time viewer. Don't forget to click on the bell for those of you that are already subscribed and haven't already. And if you're a first-time viewer and inclined to subscribe, click on that bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates. The charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it. Anywhere from $0.30 cents to $3 per share. I know it may not seem like a lot, but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits. These are profits. And like I always say, profits are profits. Whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back $2, you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with. That's what it's all about. And also in the video, I go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose. Like for example, this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 3511 and the highest point reach was 3557. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 3588 and it rose up to about I'd say let's see this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 3623. When you do the math that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps and it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388 that was an 80 point jump there was probably ticker symbols rising up more than three dollars per share on those dates and even on these dates there's individual ticker symbols rising more than three dollars per share check it out see for yourselves and my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the s p 500 index and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.